Today, WJZ obtains charging documents in one of the latest ATM smash and grab cases in Baltimore. An 18 year old was taken into custody, and right now, police are still looking for more suspects. Investigator Mike Helgren stays on the story live in Northwest Baltimore for us. Mike. Vic, police do not believe that teenager acted alone in this case. Another look at the damage here that they've mostly repaired. According to those charging documents, that teenage suspect ran out of this hole in the wall of the store. There was a brief foot chase before he was arrested. Most of these cases go unsolved. This is a rare one where there was an arrest. We also talked to a business owner about a half mile away on North Avenue who was also hit by the ATM bandits. The whole wall was out of the building, and the uh, uh, ATM machine was gone. Sheldon Eubanks Bay Sr. was stunned when he saw the damage to the convenience store he manages at Monroe and North Avenue last week. One of almost 30 hit by ATM bandits in Baltimore this year. A van smashed right through it. The store is still boarded up, and Bay has yet to reopen. It's, it's hard because when you have an own black businesses that's trying to come up, and people are tearing it down. And you know, we're one of the few that helps in this community. He was also upset at the police response and claims an officer went right past the damage without stopping. I, I was kind of shocked. You were afraid that he would pull over and find out what was going on. Since then, at least four other stores in the city have been hit by the ATM bandits, including an attempted ATM theft a few blocks away near Druid Hill Park, where police made a rare arrest. WJZ obtained the charging documents in that case. An officer took 18 year old Saeed Hamza into custody in a nearby alley after a foot chase. Police say he ran from the massive hole the van made in the wall of Aiden Grocery. The documents reveal there were other suspects who got away in a burgundy van. Police were able to confiscate Hamza's cell phone, which provides critical evidence. All we're going to do is come back even stronger. Back on North Avenue, Bay is not sure if the same group is behind the theft at his store. He tells us despite what happened, he does plan to put the ATM back inside when it reopens. Just be mindful who you have around your, your stores and um, you know, have them not hanging around. Now, police tell us that they are advising store owners to keep those ATMs away from windows and doors if they can and secure them very, very securely to the floor or wall because if someone does have a smash and grab, that will uh, make it harder to take and police maybe can get here and take someone into custody in a case like this. Reporting live in Northwest Baltimore, Mike Halgren, WJZ.